Hello guys, today I want to show you how to enjoy for free PC VR gaming on your Quest headset without a gaming PC. You can even use your phone and your mobile data to achieve this, especially if you have a 5G connection, it works even better, but of course you're going to have a nice data plan available because you're going to use lots and lots of it. Also to let you know there is a giveaway for this process to earn some extra goodies as well, so I'll link that down below in the description. Let's get started. So what I'm showing you is using Pluto Sphere. You may have heard of it as it's just released for general use via SideQuest. So you can sideload the Pluto Sphere application, which is a Quest client, onto the headset now instead of it being an invite only situation like it was before. This service will allow you to hire a high end computer in the cloud that will stream VR content to your Quest headset as long as you've got a good internet connection. The model this now operates on is a pay for what you use. It charges you 600 coins per hourly rate and each 600 coins is about 90p or $1.20. Meaning if you wanted to play games like Half-Life Alex, to hire a PC to do that high end one, it's only going to cost you 10 to $15, which is pretty amazing. But if you're someone that wants to play VR every day, there is a 10 hour a day limit. And if you do that, this model is gonna be way more expensive for you. My opinion on it though is that PC VR games, they're few and far between, and there's a focus on bringing games to Quest anyway. So I think this is gonna be a better fit for the general user, perhaps not the enthusiast that wants to spend all their time PC VR gaming. The free catch on this service though is that it's in early access. So they're giving away 3000 daily coins for you to enjoy this service, which means you get five hours of PC VR streaming every day whilst it's in early access for free, which is just insane. This is a super simple, easy thing to set up, but there are a few things to check and do, which I recommend before starting. The first of which is this service is hosted on AWS servers. So people like Netflix use this, Amazon have data centers all over the world. So you're not gonna be too far from one, hopefully. But you want to make sure that you have a location available that has low latency. So ideally I look for around underneath 40 milliseconds for a usable experience. So visit this website. I'll link it down below in the description click the button and it will ping all of the AWS data centers and give you the results of that ping. How long did it take for you to ping and get a response? You also want to make sure that you can support the bandwidth of the data being sent to and from the server. So visit a site like this and make sure you have around or above 50 megabits per second, which is their recommendation. But from my experience, don't worry too much if you're not reaching it, because I tried this last year when it was really, really early doors and I only had around 34 megabits and I still had a usable experience. And thirdly, if you do not have a Steam account yet, make an account and purchase any games that you want to enjoy locally on your phone or your computer first to speed up the setup. Because once you've boosted up your computer and you're trying to set up, you're being charged. So let me take you through the steps and how to do this. Let's begin. You want to go to the Pluto Sphere website, which I will link down below in the description. This can be done via a desktop or a mobile phone. I'll link both down below as I just said. All you need to do is sign up, provide a username that's unique, an email and a password. Then bear in mind, you have a few ways here that you can connect to the computer before we progress. So there is a Pluto Sphere client app that I've already spoken about, but virtual desktop can also be used here. If you own that application already, it's a personal favorite of mine due to the customization options available on your stream, such as you can adjust the bit rate, there's space warping, there's also different types of encoding you can use, which can be helpful when trying to configure an optimal setup. But virtual desktop, the app costs money. So if you don't own one, Pluto Sphere's client app is free and it does work. But you then have to sideload this from SideQuest, which requires a developer mode setup. And if you haven't done that before, I do recommend doing it because there's a whole world of Quest gaming available to you. So I'll link down below how to do the developer mode and set up SideQuest as well. So you've just signed up and you now want to go to your Pluto Sphere account and you should see some coins were given to you for free in the top right corner. If you run out here though, there is a page available where you can top up and purchase additional tokens if you need to. On this screen, you want to click this button, which is the start option, and this will set up and start your virtual machine on the remote server. This can take around five to 10 minutes sometimes, but once it's set up, you'll be able to click connect. This will give you a remote desktop connection for you to start setting up your machine. It uses something called desktop vision to achieve this, and they are fixing some issues right now. So you may need to disconnect and reconnect a few times in order to get this to run, because you may run into a permanent loading issue. 
You will then want to log into Steam and start downloading any games that you want to play. Like Half-Life Alex. it takes 30 minutes roughly on the server for a 60 gigabyte download, which is some good download speed, but that is going to cost you 300 coins in waiting. So please bear this in mind when starting a session. And which is why I recommended purchasing the game before booting up because that would have cost you even more time. And it's also important to note that once you leave your session, after 30 minutes, the computer will be shut down and wiped clean. So if your game on Steam does not support cloud saves, whilst you're on your desktop, log into a cloud storage provider like Drive or Dropbox and put the save file of your game into that cloud storage. So when you come back to this and you re-download your title, you can grab your save and continue your progress. So if you want to use virtual desktop at this point, download the virtual desktop streamer and then provide your username. So you'll then be able to see this computer inside your Quest headset when booting up virtual desktop. So you can connect to the PC and start playing games. But if you're using the Plutosphere application, you'll need to go to unknown sources, start the client, and it will first ask you to log in. This logging in is going to link the Quest headset to your account so it knows what remote computer to connect to. Once you've logged in, boot up the application once again, and apparently you need Steam VR open and active for the client to connect to the server, because once you've booted up Plutosphere application inside the headset, you should see the Steam VR home. That's what you see, the grid. And if you run into any other issues whilst doing this, there is a very in-depth FAQ page on their website that you can check out and also join the Discord. There's some really fantastic legends in there that are always happy to help out, like Lemon John and Storm Cool Blast. They are absolute legends. Thanks guys for also helping me out here. There isn't much more to this setup. It's simply that easy because the platform has recently been migrated to a different underlying infrastructure. So they are still working out some issues and Mystical did a video and they just got absolutely bombarded and overloaded and stressed the system. So they are trying to scale and fix a bunch of issues, but it's free access right now. So I can, I can see why that's happening. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Please consider subscribing and joining me for next time. I hope this is going to be really helpful for you guys to go and enjoy some amazing PC VR games if you recently got a quest, because there's some fantastic titles out there. And PC VR looks stunning. Have a great week, guys. Happy gaming. Good day.